Hey guys, it's Anessa and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So it's been almost two months since I picked up the camera. So I'm happy to be back, happy to be doing photo shoots again. Um, so today I want to talk to you guys about why it's important to change your modifier every once in a while. So stay tuned and we're going to get straight into it. All right, so the bottom line, I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but the bottom line, and it could be summed up into one word, pretty much it's boring to be using the same modifier over and over. So in my photography, I utilize both natural light and artificial light. And mostly when I'm using artificial light and I'm outside or indoors, I use like a soft box to modify the light or I would use some other type of modifier, but for the most part, I would use a modifier. Now, the problem with utilizing um, a softbox for most of my photography, it becomes a little bit boring. At least when I look at it, it becomes a little bit boring and becomes a little bit predictable. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with predictability, especially when you have to repeat or do the same type of lighting for another subject and that could be very important for client work so being predictable is okay but when you're trying to be creative at least for me this becomes a little bit boring because when i start looking at my work it just becomes like the same thing so changing up my modifier helps to push me a little bit more creatively and give me a different look from the light that I'm getting from that particular modifier that I'm using. So utilizing different modifiers such as like beauty dish or even a reflector like to get hard light and stuff like that. So utilizing those different types of reflectors allows our modifiers rather allow me to get different looks uh, from my images. So I would strongly recommend you guys if you haven't tried this to utilize different modifiers to help you with uh, giving you a different look and so that your look doesn't become, you know, boring and predictable. Like I look at my images sometimes and I think that is the case. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, all I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby, you can give me everything I want. Everything I want.
All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It definitely is feeling great to be back um, in the saddle and shooting again. I'm still gonna be taking it a little bit easy. Um, I'm not gonna be pushing myself too hard, but yeah, it definitely feel great to be back in the saddle. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Put some comments down below. Let me know what is your favorite image in this particular photo shoot. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that you can get notified when videos are released. And lastly, please share this video with your friends and family if you think it will be helpful to them. All right, guys, so that is it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.